Welcome to our top five interiors. Just to be specific, these are the ones that we like of vehicles we've driven over the last couple of years. But what do we want to have people do? Well, we want you to type below. Let us know what your top five are. These are ours, as we said, and it may differ from you. We're going to do it in alphabetical order. So welcome to the Motormouth YouTube channel. I'm Zach. I'm Andrea. And if you're new here, we do all kinds of comparisons yeah. and videos. We put lots of videos out every single week, so it would be great if you could subscribe. So alphabetical order. The first brand starts with the letter B. What is it, Andrea? It's the BMW iX, BMW's first electric SUV. And boy, does it have an elegant and sophisticated feel with the materials that are being used inside. It's a very open cabin. Mm -hmm. They've done interesting things, like they make the doors curve away from the passengers. It gives this very open feel to it. Yeah. Um, beautiful materials, as Andrea mentioned. And I think this is all done, Andrea, to take your attention away from the grill on the front of the car. <laughs> it's very possible. There is a lot of negativity towards that grill. I think I got used to it the more I looked at it as we test drove it for a week. But BMW says that they are inspired by modern and simplistic interior design elements and that they want you to feel like you're almost sitting in your living room. But the interior feels more like furniture. Now, the one we had was not the base iX interior. It no. had some upgrades. And what did it get? Yeah, so it comes standard with the leather interior, but we had cloth, which you'll pay extra for it. But I really like what world do you pay extra for cloth? <laughs> in the know. BMW world, there you go. It feels a lot like Alcantara. It's very pretty. Ours was a light blue and gray. And I think that it really elevated the interior. It's not going to be for everyone, that color combo, but boy, did I ever like it. And here's a fun fact. The panoramic sunroof is the largest sunroof that BMW has ever built. And by the way, that cloth went everywhere, all mm -hmm. over the dash, which is a trend I like. I like cloth on the dash. All right, we'll go through a few standard features. The new screens merge together, creating a seamless look with a 12.3 inch digital driver display and a 14.9 inch touchscreen, which is also controlled by the center console rotary dial. Our next top five alphabetically is the Cadillac Escalade with the best stereo I have ever heard ever in a vehicle. Yep, but the showstopper in the Escalade is the 38 inch OLED touchscreen. It has twice the pixel density of a TV. All right, it is a, a screen that you have to see because the colors are so vivid and yeah. bright. We were in an event with another manufacturer. We had the tech guys who do these sorts of screens and infotainment systems mm -hmm. ask us which we like. And I said Cadillac. I think they do a really good job. And it's actually several different sc uh, screens stitched mm -hmm. together to make this one larger screen. And we're seeing it now in the Cadillac Lyric, Cadillac's electric vehicle. And I think that they're probably going to move forward with this type of screen, maybe just smaller in some vehicles versus others. So the stereo, um, the big thing is it has these uh, speakers in the headrest. That's the optional package. We're going to talk in, in a moment about what you get on the base one, yeah. but it doesn't blast your ears. It just fills in the sound and the sound in that Escalade. I've never experienced anything like it. Well, we had the available 36 speaker system and wow, is it ever incredible. The sound is just so crisp. This is leading edge technology. The graphics are bold with the largest color range available in the auto industry. There's augmented reality enabled navigation, a full color head up display, an available night vision system, rear seat entertainment, and of course that incredible sound system. Next is Genesis. Now we're focusing in on the GV70, uh, but Genesis as a brand has done an amazing job of bam coming to the marketplace with alternatives to the established players with interiors that have the most beautiful materials and they're put together nicely. Now the GV70 we like because the control wheel is the best that we've tried from Genesis. Yeah, I'm always impressed when I get into a Genesis model because they hardly use any hard plastic, mostly soft materials. We're seeing other luxury brands using more 
hard plastic. And I find the leather, the Napa leather, whether you get it with the quilting or without, is just beautiful to the touch. It feels so good. So one of the things about owning a prestige brand is when your friends and neighbors get in, they go, whoa. And when you have a Genesis, especially the top trims, people get in and go, this is, who makes this? What is this? Mm -hmm. And uh, mission accomplished, which is what they're trying to achieve. And I also like the color combos that are available, whether it's to the interior or exterior. You can really create a very unique model for yourself. And they have big screens too. Yeah. The GV70 comes standard with a 14.5 inch touchscreen, an 8 inch LCD instrument cluster, Apple CarPlay and Android Auto, and an available panoramic sunroof. There's a lot of value in Genesis models, and you can see that they're trying to elevate the brand in a very competitive market. Now, if you thought the Escalade was a biggie, we've got a bigger one. It's the Grand Wagoneer. Pure luxury. Some may even say that the interior is best in class. I would say it is. I mean, the Cadillac has the wow screen yeah. and the wow stereo, but the rest of it, I would give it to Grand Wagoneer. Especially for me, Andrea, was, I don't know why I fall for this, is the inlay, mm -hmm. the wood in the dashboard that says yeah. Grand Wagoneer. Like, that's one of those you get in and you go, what? This, who makes this? There are screens galore in this, but one thing that really stood out for me was the comfort level of the cabin and also the beautiful leather. Our test model had a tan interior. I thought it looked gorgeous. It had Palermo leather. Yeah, yeah. In the, yeah. It's one of those interiors because when I was editing the video, I was like, it doesn't pop the way it pops in person. Mm -hmm. So uh, you have to trust us with this one. If you get the chance to sit in a really nicely equipped Grand Wagoneer, you will be impressed. The Grand Wagoneer has a 12.3 inch driver information display, a 12 inch touchscreen, wireless Apple CarPlay and Android Auto, and a 12 and a quarter inch comfort display under the touchscreen. It allows you to control the front and rear cabin seats, including massage features. The passenger side gets an interactive 10 and a quarter inch display as well. This allows passengers to access the entertainment system and navigation. The standard 19-inch speaker Macintosh audio system, available 23 speaker, is also very good. So we're up to our final interior, but stick around because we have some honorable mentions, three vehicles that didn't make the top five, but are definitely worth looking at. And our last one starts with M, it's Mercedes-Benz. Now, which vehicle did we choose to showcase? We chose the GLE. It still has the older screens. If you look at the S-Class and the C-Class, they're all moving towards that large center console screen, which I don't mind, but Zach, is not a fan of. Well, what I like about the screens that they use in the GLE and others, there are other vehicles that still have this MBUX system, is they're behind the steering wheel, they're not here in the center console, and there's a controller with a touchpad. Now we have, you know, ragged on other brands for this setup like Acura and Lexus, and yeah. you know, they're not great, but with the Mercedes-Benz system, it's actually really quite good. It keeps the fingerprints off the screen, which I like. Yeah, yeah, the trackpad isn't glitchy like the others, so I think that's why we give it a pass. I also find that the voice recognition is very good. It's quite accurate. It's probably one of the best that I've ever tried. But the way it looks mm -hmm. at day and night is one of those things again you have to experience well it has the 64 color ambient lighting and it just looks spectacular at night quite stunning and then during the day you get to experience just that beautiful interior the two 12.3 inch dual displays stretch almost the length of the dashboard fine materials like genuine leather walnut and oak wood brushed aluminum and metal weave are used to create a luxurious and sophisticated feel. So now we're on to honorable mention, still mm -hmm. alphabetical. Now this next one, Andrea, is it because I like driving the car so much because the car is fantastic to drive mm -hmm. or is it the seats that made me like to drive so much. It's the Alfa Romeo Giulia. It could be the color combo as well. It had this beautiful green exterior and then a tan interior. And it probably reminded Zach, as it did for me, when we were in Italy in Venice and we bought this gorgeous tan leather bag. 
it really is a, a great car to drive. So mm -hmm. put that to one side. Then you focus on the interior. It certainly isn't a technology showcase. I would say I would call the uh, infotainment screen and the interaction with the car adequate, but the seats are so comfortable. Mm -hmm. The leather is spectacular. I got, I got to bring the drive back in. And then when you drive it, you're like, oh, I like this car. You know, and while other brands are coming out with larger screens, Alfa Romeo has kept an 8.8 inch touchscreen. That's simple enough to use. And you can also use the center console rotary dial. So you don't even have to touch the screen. But I think it's the simplicity and the sophistication of the interior that gets me. The next two cars, we only got two left in our honorable mention. Both come from the same brand. The first one, is a car we hear is kind of on the bubble whether it's going to be discontinued. Yeah. We've heard it's discontinued. We hear it's not discontinued. It's the Kia Stinger. Wow, what an interior. Our test model had the Alcantara interior and it was everywhere with red accents and red seat belts. Wow, what a beautiful combination. It went all over the dash. I like this trend towards putting cloth on the dash. Some yeah. people don't like it. They think it's going to be hard to clean. We have a vehicle with Alcantara. The vehicle is 14 years old and the Alcantara still looks good. I know. So it does hold up. Mm -hmm. But this dashboard, the simplicity of the way they execute the dashboard, and the material all over it, I don't know. It's just one of those things. If it's still available, the Kia Stinger might be one to look at. Well, you can get it. I went online. It's still on the website, so order it while you can. And it wasn't confirmed from Kia whether it was being discontinued or they're keeping it. So let's just go with they're keeping it for now and get it. All right, the biggest Kia is Telluride with a new interior, right? Yeah, for 2023, it's got some upgrades. Finally, it's getting the 12.3 inch digital driver display. In the past, the Palisade had it from Hyundai, and I felt like Kia needed to add this to the Telluride because the Carnival had it, their minivan. Why wouldn't they give it to the Telluride? Well, they have. And the interior is a great study and functionality. One of the big things for me, Andrea, we're sitting in our Porsche Cayenne and they have the classic grab handles here. Yeah. Um, Telluride has the same thing, kind of mirroring what we have in this car. Yeah. Uh, lots of switches and buttons that are easy to use. I just think I like the Kia approach over the Hyundai approach, especially mm -hmm. for this big vehicle. I think it's great. Yep, I think that in the end, they're both great options, whether you get the Hyundai Palisade or the Kia Telluride. But with these new changes, we are in it for the Telluride. All right, so there's our five best interiors that we like yeah. and a few honorable mentions. So type below, what, what vehicle have you been in lately that you think is just spectacular on the inside? Do you have any of these vehicles? Do you have any mm -hmm. feedback? Hope you liked the video. Follow along on Instagram at motormouth underscore Andrea. You get a sneak peek of what's coming up on the channel and when all of our videos drop. What else do they have to do? Subscribe, hit that notification bell. You'll be notified when all of our reviews drop and then you can watch them. And when we see them. See you next week.